This is Hope. She's an old friend of ours. She's a 60 foot 8 inch traditional stern narrowboat built by Dennis Cooper of CTS in 1990 and fitted out by Barry Wren and a wonderful job he's done too. We sold her last year, 2018, in the summer, and there's a change in circumstances of the current owner, so she's back on the market. And he's done some work to her. She was epoxy two-packed and shot-blasted, including the base plate in 2013, but he's just two-packed her again in May 2019. She's had a hull survey, a full survey rather, last year in 2018 when he bought her, and he's also just done a hull survey in May 2019. That's available for inspection. Batteries were new in 2017, and here she is. The paintwork's in wonderful condition. Really nothing to do to her. She's shiny. She was repainted in 2014, fully repainted. That was over a cabin shot blast and repaint in 20, uh, 2004. So, yeah, she's lovely. Gas is in the forward locker. There's three bottles in there, six kilos. Very good size well deck. This is over five and a half feet long. There's a drop down table here with a glazed cratch board. Lovely area for sitting out, eating or drinking or just chatting and playing games. Stable doors. Glazed. Keep dogs and children in or out. And then we go. She's fitted out an oak face ply with Sapili trim. Huge L shaped sofa here that converts into a double bed. This boat sleeps six, including that. Plenty of cupboard space. There's a solid fuel stove in the corner, that's a hobbit. There's also a epping in the stern cabin that we'll see later. There's a stereo there. And that was a magnetic arrow you saw for the television on goes on the roof. That comes out on a wall bracket, the television. It's a DVD TV combo, and there's a view out onto the world deck. Those pads are to put in the bulkhead, the glazed bulkhead onto the well deck uh, to keep the light out. Heating on board, you just saw a radiator there, that's an Aldi gas system. That was new in 2009, heats three radiators. That dining table pulls up, and then here are squirreled away some collapsible seats. It's really clever, so you can easily seat five for dinner. With a bit of imagination, you could do a lot more with the size of that sofa. A useful shelf over there. You can hang wine glasses from there. Head height on the boat. While we're looking up, we're six foot three. Some cupboards under here. There's a side hatch in the galley with some steps for exit. And here's some cupboards. A few cupboard lovers. This one houses the microwave. That was new in 2016. And storage over and next to it. Sinks on the port side here with very big cupboards underneath. And the cooker itself is a spin flow four burner gas hob and a venette oven and grill. All very clean in this boat, she's been kept beautifully. The fridge, that's a shoreline 12 volt with an ice box, that's here. Another cupboard opposite. Down towards the bathroom. Lovely floor in here, do note that. Ceramic sink, circular, set on top of a cupboard. The loo itself is a macerated pump out. That was brand new in 2017. Soft closed lid and there's a 360 litre holding tank. The shower itself is tiled. Brand new um, pump in there. And down into the bedroom, another radiator. The bed itself is quite large, seven feet long, four feet wide. And there's a hanging wardrobe at the foot of the bed. With some shelves next to it.
Into the engine room. Here's the Gardner 3LW. Beautiful engine. Sounds lovely. Starts on the button. Service very recently. 85 hours ago. In November 2018. Batteries on the top left of the screen there. There is an inverter on board, 1800 watt inverter. And into the boatman's cabin we go. Lovely here, solid wood. Lovely scumbling, beautiful paintwork. Here's the traditional crossbed. That drops down, there's a few bits of navigation equipment in there, and forms the third double berth. And this is clever, the door opens inward, so when the crossbed is down, you can't actually get out, so there's the insert of the door opens outward, so if you need to get up for a tinkle in the middle of the night, you just open the inside of the door, it's ingenious. Epping stove. fully functional and the traditional table that just drops down there with roses and castles painted on. There's an intercom in there that connects with the galley. Call for a cup of tea or gin and tonic or whatever you fancy for at the helm. And there's a view from the helm position. There's almost as many chimneys on this boat as Battersea Power Station. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Another walk back through. There's a hundred watt of solar panels on board. LED mood lighting in the saloon and galley under the gunnels. She has an Axiom propeller on her, so handling her is wonderful. She responds really well. The windows were all double glazed, they were replaced in 2014 and hot water is provided by the engine, the Aldi gas boiler or the immersion heater does the water as well. She's fully equipped and ready to go, um, she'll make somebody a lovely home or holiday boat and that is Hope. For further Photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.ropeyboats.co.uk.